something. This video is a health and wellness video, so that only means Dr. Paul Tai is going to be answering that question. The question is, how does thyroid affect our body? Well, if you want to find out, stay tuned. Thyroid, to begin with, is a major organ. It is an organ that produces the thyroxin hormone. The reason that we use thyroid in our body, it is primarily to have a level of metabolism that creates energy and fights the fatigue problem. What I'd like to tell you about thyroid is that if you are suffering from those symptoms, generally the doctor would run a test on your thyroid functions. However, many times these tests come back within the normal range of the laboratory and your doctor may think that it is normal. We in our research has found that thyroid symptoms can oftentimes be very major deterrent to your health even though your laboratory results are normal. Why is that, you would ask? Well, it's partially because you have the hormone thyroid, but the other half of the equation is the receptor that is in your cells all over your body that receives those thyroid. If your receptors are very resistant, then you are going to have the same effect of having low thyroid functions even though your thyroid hormones are within normal limits. This I caution you to make sure that you have the symptoms of th hypothyroid together with evaluating with your physician about the level of your thyroid that is available to your body. The next part of it is the weight. Many people who suffer from feeling cold, from feeling fatigue, from feeling lack of energy, and inability of all the other hormones in your body to act and respond in a normal manner is because your thyroid levels are low and you suffer from dysfunctional hypothyroidism. I tell you this because many people who have gained weight slowly but steadily as you get older is because every 10 years of our lives we lose approximately 10 to 15 percent of our thyroid function. So therefore from the age of 20 to the age of 60 you may lose as much as 60 to 70 percent of your thyroid function. As you lose those function your metabolism will go down and therefore you will gain weight if nothing else is changed. You have noticed if you look at your picture when you were younger and you look at your picture as you get old you will notice that every 10 to 20 years you will have gained significant amount of weight. Therefore the obesity problem in the United States of having over 70% of our population be overweight is partly, only partly, due to hypothyroidism. Now, it is not necessarily a disease. I want to make it very clear to all of you that many of the functions that are lowered in thyroid are not at the level of disease, but it is at the level of functional hypothyroid. Functional meaning that yes, you have lost that ability to have a very high metabolism that you used to have when you were a child and you used to have when you were a teenager and that you used to have when you were a young man or young woman, but now you have gained weight because your metabolic rate is lower and your eating may have stayed pretty much the same. I want to invite you to look into this problem and do further testing and help if you like further information at my website 
which is the health secrets usa.com I had no idea thyroid affects your body in so many ways. I know, me either, but now I know, and so do you. So, until next time, bye-bye.